common indications of a curse. Jesus was made a curse that we might enter into the blessing. I have compiled a list of seven common manifestations of a curse. Most curses do not concern one individual exclusively. Rather, they usually concern families or larger communities. The essential feature of curses and blessings alike in the Bible is that they are passed down from generation to generation unless something happens to cut them off. I have dealt with people whose problems went back hundreds of years in family history. On the basis of my personal observation, here are seven indications that usually signify the presence of a curse over your life or your family. If you experience only one of these, I would not say for sure there is a curse, but if several of them show up in your family, in different areas and in multiple generations, you can be almost sure that a curse is in place. These indications are the following. Number one, mental and emotional breakdown. Number two, repeated or chronic sicknesses, especially if they are hereditary. Number three, repeated miscarriages or related female problems. Number four, breakdown of marriage and family alienation, especially a family history of them. Number five, financial insufficiency, if it is ongoing. Number six, being known as accident prone. And number seven, having a family, a history of suicides or unnatural deaths. We will not dwell on the problem, but we will affirm the solution. Jesus was made a curse that we might enter into the blessing. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your work on the cross. I proclaim that for every indication of a curse in my life, Jesus' death was the solution. For Jesus was made a curse that I might enter into the blessing. Amen.